Guys, welcome back. Tomorrow is Tuesday, May 5th, therefore, happy Cinco de Mayo. Tomorrow's strength is going to start off with, with having a Tabata style uh, element. We're going to be three different exercises. We're going to treat all of them with the same trend 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest for a different amount of uh, rounds, if you will. The first one, we're going to start off doing just Supermans for six rounds. So that'll be again 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, six rounds of Supermans. Once you're done with your supermans, you're gonna continue right into hollow rock. So that'll be on your back, obviously the other way around. Um, a total of six total rounds as well for that one. Now keep in mind, hollow rocks can, be, can get very hard if you feel like uh, if, if you feel like you can start off with your arms and legs extended, then that's fine. But as soon as you notice your form is starting to break down and you're no longer able to, to peel your shoulders off, then I would say go straight into having your arms over by your knees and your knees can even be tucked in That'll still give you, should I say, a way for you to still work the, the midline without completely fatiguing, right? Um, that'll be another option as well. So once you are done with six rounds of Superman, six rounds of Hollow Rocks, the last Tabata style strength you're gonna do is a side plank crunch. And this one we're gonna do full eight rounds. However, you're just gonna do four on one side and then four on the other. If you wanna make this a little bit harder, do all four on the right, followed by all four on the left. The catch with the side plank crunch is that you're gonna hold the top position during the rest. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. During that 20 seconds off, you're gonna be holding the top, and then again, on the on, you're gonna move back and forth for 20 seconds. Treat that for both sides, all right? Now that'll conclude the strength. Should take you right around that 10 minute mark. After that, the conditioning piece for today is going to be a 10 minute EMOM. We're gonna to work to work through two different things. Both of them are going to be of time, uh, of time elements, if you will. 20 seconds of max burpees to start off every minute, followed by 40 seconds of alternating pistols or step-ups. Now, whatever one feels the most comfortable. Keep in mind, the goal would be to count however many total pistols or step-ups you get done throughout the entire workout, right? Or even the burpees. So 20 seconds. <clears throat> 20 seconds of burpees, you might be able to get anywhere between three to maybe five, six, maybe even a little bit more from that. Find a rhythm or a number that you can maintain throughout the course of the duration for the 10 minutes. So burpees, if you're able to get four every minute to start off the 20 seconds, then that's fine. And if you're able to get through, let's just say 12 step ups um, every minute, then that's fine. Have the first minute or so be your experimental round, if you will, and then after that, try to keep the same consistency across the remainder of the nine rounds, all right? So that'll conclude the strength, the conditioning, the warm-up today. Two different elements, both of them are extremely simple. Number one, foam roll the lower body, just prepping, prepping you for all the step-ups or the pistols, things that you're gonna do in the workout. On top of that, the burpees. I would highly encourage you to go over the lower back, the glutes, the hamstrings, uh, as well as the quads and the calves. All of those will also help you on the burpee as well, making sure that our hamstrings are not super tight and we can pop off the ground uh, comfortably, if you will. Now the second element, once you're done foam rolling, just go outside for a light jog or a walk for another five minutes. Guys, all in all, Tuesday's workout should be done well within 30 minutes. The warm-up should take you at the highest end, 10 minutes. The strength, 10 minutes, and then the conditioning, obviously, another 10 minutes. So total body workout within 10 minutes. If you are planning to partake in Cinco de Mayo festivities, uh, then make sure to get this workout in somewhere in, in, in between your day, right? If you're working, strongly encourage you to just wake up a little bit earlier, fit this workout in again. It'll take you a total of 30 minutes. Total body workout, you can get it done and then enjoy yourself for the remainder of the day. Happy Cinco de Mayo, enjoy the workout, and hope to see you guys soon. Take care.